Hello, Commiesgate. Welcome to Doodle and Chill. This is a la- the, the, the new version of se- uh, 6 o'clock, but we're late because Aaron and I took a little nap. <laughs> so here we are now, 7.30, and I'm here with Aaron. Hello. Are we live? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. So, you know, more energy. Aaron. Here's uh, Aaron. Hello. <laughs> And welcome to the Cybershock special. And we have Vic with us. Yes. Yes, you do. It's amazing, but I'm here. <laughs> you made it. This is already a train wreck. I came, I came all the way from Boston just to come here on the stream tonight to, uh, to show some support for uh, the great Aaron Calamari. Um, the dude has a book. And, uh, and I believe you guys are going to be promoting it tonight. Yes, we yeah. are. This wow. is the entire purpose of this little show here. And anybody who wants to join in to promote their books are also welcome. The link is in the groups. Or, you know, just say you do, you do and I'll send you the link. Anybody is welcome to promote their books. Let's or get pre- Preston in here. <laughs> so, you're right now at 20%, buddy. What? Yeah. Yeah. Get out, Aaron. Super, tell me that's not true. That's it. True. Super. Super cool. Yeah. Oh on, man. On oh. your second second day, twenty percent. Yep. That's it a nice. Us, it took us superstar like two weeks to get to ten percent on extractors. Hmm. Well, the goal was different, so the goal is but, yeah. 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 We're, we're only talking about percentages here. <laughs> yeah, percentage wise, you're I'm doing dead. awesome for second day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're definitely going to get funded. I'm pretty sure of it. You're going to be funded in 10 days, dude. Yeah. Maybe. I'm pretty sure you'll be funded, yeah. Like you said, in like we'll two see. weeks. Yeah. We'll see. So, what do you want to say about that book, bro? All right. So, yep, it's called Cybershock 1.0. That means pretty much Cybershock number one. Um,. It just went live two days ago. It's a cyberpunk action story with Metal Gear Solid art style. And uh, it's, what's that, Vic? I said so solid. Yep. And it's uh, written by myself and it's drawn and colored by Art of Zoo. 24 pages, full color. Um, so the story is about a black ops agent who gets fed up with the shady tactics of her employer, which is Cybershock Systems. So she finds a way to steal the the sensitive intelligence software, and they send a bounty hunter after her, and all that sets off an adventure of violence. And on the cover there is uh, our main character, Siren X. She's the black ops agent. And then the one that's fighting alongside her is the bounty hunter, Rondell. Hmm. And throughout the story, they go back and forth between being allies and enemies. And then it ends up getting resolved. It's like a whole, like, speaking. blue versus red type thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So she, like cybernetics in that shot there where she's on the operating table yeah in the on the operating table she's having a flashback to when they were putting the cybernetics inside of her nice. so she was she she, uh, she was fully human before yep she was fully human she's still fully human i mean other than her cybernetic implants but she feels like she feels like she's kind of become a monster because they did all these things to her she feels like they tortured her and put all this electronics in her so she doesn't feel as human as she used to she and then she just finally got fed up with the company and decided to betray him so, she's a bit of a loose cannon type character so it's a bit of a mix like ghost in the shell and um bionic black, black widow or something yeah or like a, she's a bit of a wolverine type character as well mm. like her her memories are all intact unlike wolverine but as far as like so a bit more like X twenty three. Yeah, yeah. 
the art's interesting. What, what, yep, Art of Doom. This mm-hmm. is his first comic book, actually. And what has he been doing before? He was doing commission arts, like like one piece type uh, artwork for commissions. And concept art, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep, concept art. And, uh, yep, he does lots of concept art still. He, he draws uh, Max. He draws a lot of Max for um, an author that I, I don't know the name of the author, but he does a lot of that work in between this comic book and other anything else he's been working on. I have to admit, somebody that's his first storytelling, like a sequential art, his storytelling is pretty good. Yeah, I was really impressed with it because I didn't know how it would be because a lot of times you find a deviant art artist and they're really good at drawing one picture, but then when they have to tell a story, they're not quite ready for it. Mm-hmm. But he's been blowing me away with everything. He sends stuff that looks way better than the stuff like I'll write down like, oh, they punch or something stupid. And then he comes back and he has like this awesome art for but, you know, it's something that comes usually with also with concept artists because it's the ability of telling a story in one image. Yeah. So, yeah. It's That's kind of how he does it, too. He he draws each image separately, and then he assembles them together on the computer. Mm-hmm. He storyboards it. That's what I was going to say. It's like it looks very storyboardish. Because this is the type of uh, illustration I would do for a storyboard for movies or a TV. Mm-hmm. That's what it's been what it looks like. So this is Siren. Yep, that's Siren X. You know, what I think it's cool is that it it, it um, that style maintains that uh, idea of like you're looking at a, a the video game design concepts mm-hmm. come to life into a story. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. That's really kind of cool the way he the way his style works. I like it. And I like how you put the progress there here. That was a good idea. You you said you took that from your boy Zach. Yeah, I saw that on the latest Jawbreaker. Zach had a progress report, mm-hmm. and he was updating it as he went along. So that's what I'm gonna do. Are so gonna, right are, here, this is gonna... where we're at right now. You're going to update it there, and you should probably share it in the updates at the same time when you do it. Yeah, I'll do updates too. Yeah. Pretty soon, I should have an update coming because we just announced that every physical backer is going to get a free trading card. Go and uh, it. go do it right now. Just go new update coming. Something. Well, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till I get, because right now I have put the final art up on the update and then i'm gonna update it and say everyone gets this trading card for free mm-hmm. so uh, well, I, I, and i'm only on i'm only on second day so i'm not sure like when i should update and what? when i shouldn't why wait for two up- I'm only on, I'm only on. why wait for one update when you can make two that's true that's true like uh, in two days, I will be announcing this. Everybody's getting a card. The, the I will be sharing the image in like two, three days, and there's one update. Then the second update, here's the image. It's technically yeah. getting them worked up. You know, like right now, people are gonna go look. They're gonna see one update and go, oh, we're gonna get a gift announced. Nice. Yeah, that's a good idea. So yeah. Anything yeah, we got else? eleven backers. So is that a one shot, or you have se- you have some sequels planned? Uh, sequels planned. Um, this the second issue really like the first arc is kind of the first and second issue, mm-hmm. and then I have a third issue planned too. And beyond that, I don't have much planned. But the world in in the a second company introduced. That's like the the second company is their weaponry is in this this issue, but the actual company and its personnel and stuff will be in the second one because the two companies will be pitted against one another. <laughs> so, Excellent. so who did the logo? Uh, Zoo. He did the logo. 
Hmm. Nice logo. Yeah. Yeah. He he's doing all, he's doing everything. Like I did the writing, and then he's doing all the art. And then once we're ready, we're gonna get uh the lettering started. Once we're ready. So you can get. I'm gonna wait. I wanna wait and make sure we're gonna get funded first. So you can get the physical copy for fifteen dollars. Yep. The digital for seven. Yep. And a two pack for twenty five. And that only ships to United States, right? Yeah, they all they all only ship to United States. But if there's if there's someone out there that's from a different country and they the digital copy I'm trying to steer anyone who's foreign to for, for anyone who's foreign to my country, United States. I'm trying to steer them to the digital copy because it's the best. It's like the cheapest deal. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's anyone that's out of the United States that really wants a physical copy, I can work with them and figure out their uh, so, shipping so inter costs. So international backers can reach out to you. because you, you've put Yeah, you can reach out to me. You can, I can get you a copy. It's just. I don't want to deal with a whole bunch of customs issues and stuff. So, and most of, most of the backers, we had 83 backers on extractors and almost all of them were from the U S. So that's why I decided to just stick with the U S shipping. because it was easiest. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But yeah, but if anyone from Canada or the UK or Australia, anywhere, doesn't matter where you're from you can reach out to me and i'll get you a copy i'll do it one one way or another i'll get you a copy and you can always have a secret uh tier for them yeah that's what i'll do is i'll just make a secret tier for them and then if anyone else from that country does it then i'll already know the shipping so do you do you have a little uh sample maybe the pencil of the gif or the card or the extra print uh Uh, a sample of what the card looks like. Yeah, I do. I sent it. I think I sent it to you. Did I not? Yep, you did. I'm just asking permission, technically. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you could show it. So here's... Uh, hold on, let me just find it. Bingo. Yep, and, and that's, that's going to be all... Uh, that's going to be all... Um, scanned into the computer and it's going to be all like colored we're going to color i think we're going to color it like um sort of a chromish color because i'm going for like this uh i'm going for a shiny look on it i'm mm -hmm. going to try to get some spot uv put on it so i've been looking at card companies and stuff to try to make this card look really good because this is this is like the promotional card that everyone's going to get. And then um, they'll, if we reach, if we reach our 3000 sketch stretch goal, then we get four extra pages in the book. And if we reach 5,000, then everyone gets four extra trading cards to go with this one. <laughs> so in the chat, we have L, uh, L Gargle that says, hell, socialist internet. You have true comment. Saying Ayo Gang Squad, El Putin, <laughs> El Gargo saying Hell Putin, Vic and Aaron. So I guess I'm Putin. Putin. Yeah, Putin. And the last <laughs> message is if your uh, if your cyberpunk story complement with the hypersensitivity from the Putins, you wouldn't want another cyberpunk 2077. So oh, I'm hypersensitive. Yeah, a little, Sam. A little. Oh fuck you. Know. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault i don't blame you i mean the culture that you grow up in is wow yeah staying out of that one right yeah. <laughs> here's crash course that, that you know it, it probably has to do with why i don't agree with most other people here <laughs> Because you're I'm from not, another country? I'm not overly sensitive. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm very on PC. As you guys all know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
as we all know. So we will have to say welcome, everybody. <laughs> and yes, yes. it's fine. Yes, lol, gargle. <laughs> He's like lol with a whole bunch of like laughing smiles. Yeah, it's all in good fun. I don't take anything personal. Uh, okay, so been in the chat. So you guys want to tell us about your project? Because you know we everybody know you guys from Extractors, and mm -hmm. that project I know is on a fell uh, fell on redev, you could say. Yeah, it's on hiatus for the yeah, moment. On rework and you know replanning. Uh huh. But you guys came up to with a new project that you will be offering Comics Gate soon. Would you That's like right. to share about? It? Would you like to share a bit about it? Yeah. Um, we're working on a Thor concept. There's a picture of Ron from uh, Cybershock that Simon's working on that looks awesome. Yeah, a little fan um, art. <laughs> so, yeah, we're working on a sort of a futuristic cybernetic Thor. And um, we haven't quite nailed down the name yet, but... Um, the the idea is that you could say the working title if you want. Uh, well, the, my working title is Project Thunder. Mm -hmm. Um, Vic has a different working title that's bad and worse. <laughs> um, my working title is is uh, is Dronin. Yeah. Um. Hmm. No, we we're just going back and forth trying to figure out what's best for the book, but yeah. um. Right. Yeah. Vic, that one's better than the other ones. But uh, that Simon actually... That list was just a batting around of ideas, Simon. <laughs> hey, it's a compliment. I just said that one's good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think so. <laughs> so the concept is that the government supposedly found this guy, and he's huge. Like He's like seven or eight feet tall. He's a really big dude. And they found him, and he was basically dismembered and all super injured from a battle. They find him out in a field, and they don't know what's going on. So they decide to sort of engineer him for this this government project to make him into a warrior because aliens have invaded the Earth, and they need a warrior to battle them. So they they put cybernetics on him and everything and they send him out to battle these creatures. But he sa he says, no, I'm not just, I'm not just this engineered man. I'm actually the mythological Thor. And these aren't aliens. These are actually creatures from hell that I need to fight off. And I need to find Odin so that we can survive so that earth can survive this. So the concept is you don't know if he's just crazy or if he's actually really the mythological Thor. So if I'm guessing, it, he probably survived the Ragnarok, right? That would be like after well, Ragnarok. Well, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. That's they, like sort yeah. of the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, with the alien invasion could be the Ragnarok. That's for yeah. We don't, yeah. okay. you know, there's... Um, the the part that really intrigues me about the idea that Aaron presented was was that there was this ambiguity, this uh, you know, um, back and forth that the reader will have. You know, is this actually Thor or is it isn't it? Oh, is it and we're not going to say yeah. we're obviously we're not going to say one way or the other. Mm -hmm. We will eventually say one way or the other because there will. will be a revelation we at one point. Out. Yeah. Yeah. But I think what I think Vic lies because I think his real motivation for working on the book is that he's like, hey, I get to draw Thor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> that's my um... all that story stuff. He doesn't care about that story stuff. He just wants to draw a dude with a giant hammer gun and that's shooting lightning and just Thor. destroying yeah. everyone. Yeah, it's not as long yeah. as it's called Thor. <laughs> yeah. As long, as long as he gets to pretend he's Walt Simonson, then he's happy. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not hard to figure out, guys. No. 
Yeah, and we're trying. If anyone uh, has good connections with uh, Steve Dye and Gat, hint, hint, uh, <laughs> we're trying to get this put into the CG Jumpstart number two. So we'll see how that goes. Didn't you already talk with him? Yeah. Yeah, I did talk to Steve. I talked to Gat. They just said, they just said hang tight because they're still working on number one. Um, they said they're gonna try to get us in. So well, I'm just no trying. To, I'm just trying to keep people. Uh, I'm just trying to keep on their case. You know, like hey, you know, we won't. We're we're gonna be in, right? We're gonna be in, right? We got we, some. We're gonna have some stuff to show you real quick. We told you the 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 best way to make sure that you're in CG Jumpstart. It's show them something that they can't refuse. <laughs> yeah, that's working what we're trying to do. Now. Yeah, we're working on it. Mm -hmm. It's like if you blow their mind with a cool concept, they'll they'll put it in. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So we'll see. There's a lot of people that want to be in CG Jumpstart now. Oh, I know. It's gonna be really popular, especially with all the artists that's gonna be in there. So, do you guys have anything to show about that uh, fu fu future tour thing that I like to no, call free yet. tour? <laughs> we, we will by the end of the weekend. I'll be posting stuff up. Sweet. Yeah, there's going to be some uh, some preliminary uh, imagery to be seen. Are you and... guys Are you guys planning on launching that as soon as you're done with uh, CyberShock? Uh, we haven't uh, that that quite quite that far to you know, um, but. Like, uh, I think some of it depends on, like, um, scheduling out, like, yeah. if, we wind up in, if we wind up in CG Jumpstart 2 with a preview. And, uh, you know, obviously we're not, we wouldn't launch the book necessarily and, and have it delivered before CG 2 is fulfilled. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of, um, and you know this, Simon, there's a lot of... Uh, like um administrative type stuff that that goes into into actually planning out uh a campaign yeah and planning your projects ahead too especially yeah, yeah. especially us the artists we do have to plan way more ahead it, than, than than writers usually and, and both aaron and i have had gotten a lot of experience from from um our uh extractors campaign and you know, there's different, you know, there's yeah. things that we're going to do that and ways that we want to do things that we learned lesson, you know. And I'm, I'm going to learn more. I'm going to learn more on the Cybershock campaign. So. Cause that, cause what? yes. Cause that's a bit of fun. Sorry. Go so say? by the time, by the time we get to that, we should know at least a little bit what we're doing, you know. Right, especially especially if Cybershock gets funded and then I get to fulfill it, I'll have I'll have fulfilling and everything, and then uh, then we'll know like we'll know exactly what we need to do to make our Thor comic book uh, successful. Okay, the reason why I cracked up it's because of Joe Ball. <laughs> He's in okay. the chat, right? And he comes in, he goes, "Sorry, Aaron." Me and Sim consumed 92 of those 120 pages of CG Jumpstart. Oh, I know. <laughs> he goes, that's sarcasm, of course. Because <laughs> yeah, we know it's, it's 92 pages of Sim. And, and... <laughs> yeah, why don't you call that? Yeah, CG Jumpstart number one. People don't know this, but it's actually called The Art of Sim 2. <laughs> don't forget Joe. Because you know, and yeah, it's the art of Sim Two featuring Joe Ball. And yeah, yeah. he has as many pages as I do in there. <laughs> Almost, yeah. yeah. So, hey, you want to see some of the CG Jumpstart stuff for the people that haven't seen it yet? Here I just is. got. Hmm? I just got a message from a Spaniard that said they. I just got a message from a Spaniard that said they want. Uh, they want the book. They want cyber shock, so I'm gonna have to work that out. Yep. It's a certain Spaniard that uh we might all know. And my yeah, that we that we all know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's a here's one of the, the first page of the Demon and G string that's gonna be in the CG Jumpstart. 
then it looks sweet. I'm taking my time on that page. You this guys is... have no idea. Simon has been working on this for a long time. <laughs> I've been working on four projects. Yeah. There's... And but the look at the detail and like zoom in on some of your details, man. When Here's you guys face. see this on the page, yeah, when you guys see this on the page, it's going to blow your mind. Like if you, you zoom in in the background here. You even have somebody getting crushed. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah Hannah yeah. was Hannah was watching me drawing this the other day. She goes, "Don't you don't you feel sorry for that guy?" They're going, "No. <laughs> He's a demon." <laughs> Wow. He'll be fine. Wow. I think he'll be okay. <laughs> I think he's going to be all right, actually. Yeah, see, you have... Um, uh, Joe says, yeah, we're art pimps. And Elgar goes, hell, hell, Sim, the hardest working Putin in Canada, the fastest worker in Canada. <laughs> Thanks, Hell Gargo. <laughs> and, and he also replies, like, yeah, we all know, Hell Canales. <laughs> <laughs> I I never I never said it was a bike canalis. <laughs> it was it was a, an unknown Spaniard. Yeah, we we will we will not acknowledge it or or rebuke it. But yes, it's canalis. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good buddy. He's a go. good dude. Hola, cómo están, hermanos? He's, he comes in, he's like, hey, he's like, it doesn't ship to Spain. How am I supposed to get this? He's mm -hmm. like, how do I bypass this? That's the reason why people <laughs> don't believe that I'm Canadian. They think I'm Puerto Rican because I learned Spanish. God damn it. <laughs> yep. Never should have done that. That's why, that's why I never learned Spanish. I thought it was because you, you put cheese in your coffee, but, you know. Oh, fuck you. I don't do that. That's fucking gross. I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> I drink blood. I'm like I'm like Vincent. And here's a sample of the first two page of Crash Course. Yep, and Crash Course looks amazing. Look at the detail of the cars. Let's zoom in. Sweet. Yeah, especially that car. Holy smokes. Meanwhile, a car drove into Vic's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> city living you gotta love it so um and here's a little sample of the carnage you're gonna see in cg in the crash course yeah here's some of the family friendly entertainment you get in yeah. uh, cg jumpstart yeah you even have a baby carriage there so yeah family Full on family, family. Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, family. <laughs> so you see people. Of course, the baby carriage is getting run over by you know one of the cars. But it's not as bad as that little kid with Xander number one and that little girl in a wheelchair. If you look at what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> the look on the guy's face in the foreground. He's like, "Oh, I'm I'm glad I have the cheap seats." <laughs> Simon doesn't draw happy comics, by the way. Just so you, just so everybody knows, is not all everything could be la la happy pretty. You yeah, know? yeah, it's all very sad and tragic. And... I I like to put those factors. I don't like the, just the uh, like I do enjoy some of it, like you know the corny happy la la happy pretty type of story, like comedies and stuff. But I do I, I, I do like the darker uh, you know side of humor in it like you know like one of the reason why I like that uh, shoot them up type of movie like yes it's highly violent and there's it's gory but everything's made to be fun like uh, there's an Easter egg on this page yes there is we won't say what it is. <laughs> <laughs> And here's me, my head and pedal on a stick. Uh, you don't feel good. Nah. Um, here's Vic. Where's Vic? You don't even know what I look like. Yes, I do. You <laughs> showed your fucking picture. You shared your fucking video. I know how, what you look like. That's not what I look like. I know, but you kind of look like that. It's what you look like oh, now. Not now that your head's on a spike. 
Not at all. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my God. What, do you want me to dox you? No. Exactly, so I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, man. What are you doing? But I, I don't want people to have this idea that I look like that. <laughs> <laughs> With your one blown out eyeball. Yeah, he's he's a big fan of Thor, so you know, he took out an eye. He's gotta have he's gotta have the Odin eye patch. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. I don't work on a lot of happy, lot of happy, pretty thing. We'll wait for chaos chasers. It starts lot of happy, pretty. Yeah, for like two seconds. <laughs> That's not true, El Gargo. I love you guys more than my violence. <laughs> because I know Putin loves <laughs> violence more than us. I'm like, that's not true. <laughs> I want to share it with you. No, El Gargo, you're right on the money. You're right on the money. He totally does. Talks about it all the time. I talk more about your books and your projects than I do about this. There's a lot talks of about, violence. It talks in, about uh, violence. Cybershock. Non-stop. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of big time violence in Cybershock, especially at the very beginning and the very end are super violent, and the middle is like really action packed. Okay, are you tell me you want to start that again. Yeah, even. No, I'm um... not saying it. No, I'm not going to do the battle of who's is more action. <laughs> Already, I lost the war. Okay. Sometimes you lose wars. It's true that you you, you kind of cheated. You kind of had a little glimpse when I was showing the Adam the book a bit before, so you have a good idea yeah. of what. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got a lot more pages than me too. Mm hmm. Uh, right now I'm at sixty, but it's planned to be sixty four. Right now I got sixty six plan planned, because I'm adding some pages. Because I went back and I condense some pages to be able to fit those cutscenes that you saw and i th you know i think people are gonna like those cutscenes which is oh they know, yeah they are this is one of them this is when he dies yeah. so that gun is like a blunderbuss huh uh aaron what gun what gun? what gun um your character's gun. She's got like uh, a. Oh gun. no, she has a she has a shotgun. Yeah, but he, it's a short. He, yeah, it's like a short shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's and, like a blunderbuss. And his his gun is a pulse rifle. So, is there any campaigns that you would like to plug right now, guys? Uh, let's see. I'm drawing a blank, but there's definitely some. Okay, let's reopen that page. Cybershot, go back it. Oh, let's put that in US money before I get called up on it. Because you guys don't care about <laughs> Canadian money. Oh, uh, the gods fear me. Yeah, that's where I was going. The gods fear me. Yeah, thing. yeah, that one. So... Yeah, go check out the God's Fear Me. He just he just re upped for uh thirty more days, so he's got twenty nine days left. And now at seventy one percent. So going and strong. Even if you cut out, buddy. Even if No 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 after he makes it, he's gonna make it. Yeah, even yeah. because <laughs> He has what? <laughs> it's the second time that you go. Even if and you cut out, <laughs> it's the second time in a row. Oh, so try it again. Oh. Third time's the charm. After he makes his goal, we still have to support him because there's stretch goals like that go off into infinity, and they're great. Yeah, now you can go see here. It's pretty much detailed too. Like yep. the first eight thousand, you get like a sketch card by Ethan Van Skyver and a print. Uh, I think it's a postcard. Yeah, postcard by yeah. Color row. Then when he reaches 10k, the God's Fear Me gets the full color interior because right now it's black and white. At 12, Donald Delay provides the main cover. 15, God's Fear Me gets square binding. 
at 18 this is where it changes you that's where you get us you get a second book added to it you get a full-on book called 13 a superhero uh, horror superhero horror story and it's illustrated by e e by canales that spaniard oh. <laughs> he is a spaniard that is true at 20k you get the gods fear me gets the higher paper quality and at 20k some some guy called simon simpatier provides the cover for 13. Mm. 25k 13 gets full colored 28k 13 gets higher paper quality and at 30k you get two fully square bind book nice. then the, the two last one is there, all the backers will get a, co uh, a poster of the tgfm cover then after that the 13 cover so you know, also so you, there's going to be an announcement made tomorrow you talked you talked about it last night um, say it don't don't don't, don't flaunt it just just so just say it what uh what aaron so graciously did is aaron had a story that he had been working on with the artist for this book christian rossi right mm -hmm. and he had a six page story uh that we had six pages of the story that he had done uh, so as a, um, as a, I, I guess, kind of like a, uh, a way of, of helping out a brother in, in comic skate, he offered to, uh, let, uh, uh, Mike use that on his campaign as, as a, uh, as a perk, as a bonus to give out to his, his, uh, his backers. And, um, so it's like getting, you're getting an extra uh, Christian Rossi piece, an extra Christian Rossi story, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but this, is, this story is written by Aaron Calamari. Um, it's called Blowback. Uh, it features a cover by this fantastic artist, Vic King. I mean, it's, it's great. Uh, the guy even colored it. Yeah, he's okay. He's not too bad with colors either. Um, yeah, he's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, so... We were, we were, we, um, both me and Aaron were pretty excited to be able to, uh, you know, to help out in that way. Um, and, uh, cause Mike's a great guy. It's a great campaign. Christian mm -hmm. Rossi, the artist, uh, is a great guy. We both, uh, we both have had interactions with him. And uh, well, all three of us have, you know, um, and sadly he's been... Aaron, me, Mike and Christian, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and sadly, his campaign has been targeted by uh, some pussies trying to denigrate his book. And yeah, we not, and I mean, we all, we all decided to hold on a sec. They they attack the one guy in the campaign that has nothing to do with 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 any of them. Nothing to do with Comics Gate. Christian Rossi is from another country. He's done work for, uh, you know, several different projects. He's um, he's the one that did Trespasser that you see. He right did here. Trespassers for Alterna. Um, he's doing Voidwalker he's, for Alterna and, as well. And he's the understudy for um, uh, Eduardo Rossi. Right. So, yep, Eduardo Rosso. Yep. Rosso, sorry. See, that's what I'm telling you. That's why I don't say their names. I mix them up. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a great guy, man. He really yeah. is. Uh, and he's a great artist so, as well. Yep. Yeah, and you know, so after all did... this, this is when this is when us, a bunch of us CG creators, decided to step up and have our brothers back. They offered their little Ashcan. Vic did the art for the cover for that, and here you have Passion that did a nice little print for him too. Yeah, yeah. So and I mean, so did I. Yep. And Both you, of those are great prints. And you get all those for free just for backing the book. You don't need to, there's no you don't need to wait for a stretch goal or special or getting a special tier. All backers, physical backers will get a print of this. That one from me. And uh, what's his name, that guy here? Preston. Preston Acevedo. Acevedo. Yep. Acevedo, yeah. That will be a postcard if I'm not mistaken, right? That, uh, if I remember that's, properly, that's the alternative cover. It's going to be an alternate cover, but it's supposed to be a, 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 a postcard, no? Anyways. Oh, is he going to do a postcard? Yeah. I think he is. Hold on. Final part: the original art, press and pinup. 
sold in less than eight hours so Preston has given us the okay to ministry alternate cover so yeah it's gonna be the alternate cover but he did say they were supposed to make it as a postcard too so we'll see but as you can see a lot of uh, CG kind of like st 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 stepped up and back Mike Murphy because he's a great guy it's pro he, 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 he's the one that did the samurai and dinosaur project before yeah and, and this is his second project and he already has at least three lined up so he's not going anywhere and from what from what i've heard samurai and dinosaur was on the dot everybody loved the writing from it and this is a project that i'm personally very interested in because you know being a big fan of alita it's like alita me meeting like lovecraftian creatures which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely a cool. This is definitely a, a campaign you need to go check. So, what else are we are we gonna plug? Let's say World Warrior. Yep. The World Warrior duck. Yes, he's yep. a freaking duck. And he's at twenty percent now. And he has a flexible goal. And he assures everybody that the book will be printed even if he doesn't reach the 2000. The book he is supposedly already done. Yeah, it's supposed to be already done. He's doing edits, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh, Vic is one of the guys that helped him a bit on it, giving advice. Uh, you know something? I just, uh, you know, uh, he reached out. Um, and all I did was he makes it out to be more than it is. He just asked me some advice on some panel work. I gave him some advice, um, and uh, and he ran with it. And he he you know he made what he was working on look even better. And um, it just to me it speaks to the dedication that Alzman has. He's trying to put together the best possible project. He's go he, he's going through it uh, and uh, just you know connecting the dots what he wants to be able to provide everybody is this tremendous like nostalgic feeling of like you remember like back in the the 80s and the early 90s when the there was a a whole trend of these black and white you know um you know not super serious comic books you know teenage mutant ninja turtles was one of them there was also the tick um i mean yeah. there was there was a, i mean there was a whole genre of them right mm -hmm. teenage mutant ninja turtles obviously being the the, the biggest name and there was and, uh, cerberus uh, cerebus Cer cerebus yeah, cerebus. Um, so that's what he's that's that's the kind of feel that he's trying to to uh, evoke you know uh Can for the like, reader yeah. and uh from everything i've seen that's exactly what it does you know uh the character himself, Road Warrior Drake, is hysterical. If you've never been to uh, Alice Matt Films' uh, mm. YouTube channel, you need to go there, watch some of the Road Warrior Drake uh, interviews. Yeah, they're hilarious. They are hysterical. <laughs> you will watch that, and you will want to buy the book just from watching his YouTube. Yeah, we did it's one. So, it's so entertaining. We did one for Blood Hunt, and it was fun. <laughs> He, he has yeah, a, he has a thing he has a thing for dicks right Aaron? it's gonna it's gonna be a funny, uh, yeah. funny funny book because that is one funny guy you know yeah one I like thing, one thing's it looks, it's gonna be fun I like how it looks cartoony but it also looks really gritty it's, yeah. it's weird yeah it's it's really cool the way his style the way his style is really cool. It's 150 pages for how much? For if you get the phys the physical book is twenty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And he has the over ha 150 pages for twenty five bucks. Yeah, you have it in like uh, comic book size, and you have it in manga size. They all yeah. come with little vouchers for if you want a you know a trip. But it's pretty yeah, much the same go thing. Go on a vacation type thing. Yeah, you have you, you can have a perk, uh, the tier with the trading cards, and he has them in duplicates for the manga, and international. 
then you have the those that are different now uh, you have the world war drake combo pack you get both version of the book plus that little traveling gif and you have the street champion package sixty dollars where you get two the two version of the book plus the trading card I, th I think it's also very important to point out too, um, you know, to give some background because he's not here to give any background, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll, I'll share some background that I know about Al's Matt. Go ahead. Uh, this guy is, uh, he's an independent film uh, director, right? So he's been doing independent films for quite some time. Um, so he's, he's got a director's eye when he's, when he's, going through and doing all of this it's from the point of perspective of, of a director's eye he knows he knows how to tell a story and um, that mixed with his wit is uh, this is good this is definitely going to be a, a fun book to have yeah, and that little spat that him and Vincent have been having on Twitter has been fun too it's been really entertaining <laughs> yeah Vincent's yeah. been causing a lot of trouble lately yeah. is it it's not a duck, you know. I mean, uh, people want to say he's a duck, but he's not a duck. I, you know, what can I tell you? You change, you, know, I, you change your song on that one. These people are these people. No, I'm being Al's mad for okay. a second. Okay, okay, got it. I'm, you know, somebody's got to stand up for the duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, it, it's it's not it's not duck hate, duck hate. We love the duck. We're like we're fans of Darkwing Duck and all those type of things. It's we're just not that, we're not duckists. You know, he, he, yeah, I love Peking Duck. Right? We're not. Or we're not duck remember, bulbs. Remember Duckman? The cartoon was amazing. No, we're fans of that shit. It's just that we're seeing a brother here that's having identity crisis. He doesn't accept who he is, <laughs> where he comes from, and we're like, brother, we need to fucking help you. Love yourself. You hate yourself, and he just he, he just doesn't want to listen. So Vincent took it upon himself to, to you know, try to, like, make him accept who he is. And Vic did the same thing. And we all started that in their lunch, right? And it, it was all out of love, right, Vic? All out of love. You no, know, we, lo we love Alberto because yeah. now I know, his, uh, I know his first name. It's, it's printed in my head. I'll stop calling it Asmat because it sounds like Asmat when I say it. <laughs> Alice. Yeah, Alice, Matt. It's just that, you know, I... The way that we pronounce it in French, we just technically just Al, so it goes Al's mat. Get it? So here's the first uh, poking that Vincent did. So uh, Simon uh, just uh, just admitted that uh, French Canadians cannot speak English. <laughs> hey, we're not Saxons. That's okay. I can't speak French, so. Yeah. Well, at least I can speak English, French, and Spanish. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't speak Spanish. I can get around. <laughs> I wouldn't say I speak. I understand more than I speak. Un, un poquito? Un poquito, yeah. Si, señor. Yeah. Si. El taco? <laughs> El taco bell? So, here's the first uh, the first me uh, draw drawing meme that uh, Vincent sent to the duck, which was you're, and that that's where it started, right? In the chat, remember, it was, you need to assume that you're a badass duck. <laughs> so, you're a badass duck because I'm a freaking Drake, you racist black sucker. Then he answers, Drake means male duck. Live with it, Launchpad McQuack. And as you can see here, I did it on purpose. And Aaron was there when I did it, and I said, and I go, I'm putting hair on this chest. And to see oh, the yeah, reaction of Asma... Like and to, didn't like that. and to see the you know the reaction of Alberto was really freaking cool, because <laughs> he's like, "How dare you put you put hair? He has feathers." I'm like, "There, you just proved that he's a duck. He has feathers. He has a beak. He has feathers. If it quacks and it walks like a duck, hey, it's a duck." <laughs> you really so, baited him in there on that one. Yeah. So you know, here it says the most badass duck in C oh Drake oh fucking duck CG Comics. Then, you know, he wasn't happy. Then I did another one. Called Duck Hunt. <laughs> and as I drew this, he was there and he goes, where's the ducks? You didn't put any ducks in there. Oh, you want a duck? Yeah. Well, I'll put a duck. And here's the duck. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Yeah. Duck, duck's done. Because it's duck season. And he even killed the duck hunt dog. 
Like water off a duck's ass. So, you know, he answered with uh, putting World Warrior Drake, planting Vincent in the ground in a garlic field. And I told him, Heh. Vincent's not affected by garlic, holy water, or crosses, so have a better try. And I also answered something like this. Well, let me get the other one. <laughs> I really like that one. The bathtub one. Where is yeah. it? That's the one that turned me gay. Yeah, that, that, that that's the one that opened your eyes to you that, you know, you're gay. Yeah. And how have you been living it up lately? Oh, it's great. I actually love it now. <laughs> and here's the scene. As you can notice, he has the girl from the the preview in the comic. So, you know, not only is, is he dominating the duck, he's also taking his, you know, making him a cock. You have the little window, you have the girl, you have the baby duck with the finger there. You have the foie gras with the French baguette. That's a pun at me. Yeah, I do take puns on myself. And what it says here is, want some baby duck foie gras? You can't even play with my rubber ducky Drake. Quack. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you have the girl's G-string floating right there. <laughs> so yeah, that, that that was the last one that I replied, and he, he he replied one where you know Drake comes out out of the floor, spoiling the water, <sighs> not keeping the continuity. At least he could have made him pop out as you know. <laughs> so all you've managed to tell me, Simon, mm -hmm. is. How toxically masculine Drake is, and how misogynistic Vincent is. This is all you've managed to be able to tell me. Yeah, that's showing you that they're probably going to end up. They, they should be getting along, right? They should be friends. <laughs> What's going on? They should be having a team. I'm not finding it out. <laughs> so what other uh, what other campaigns are uh, in demand right now? Um, is Ardana still in demand? I think so. We should give, we should give uh, Wyatt a plug. Speaking of uh, you know sexy women in comics, uh, here we have Ardana. Um. But she's a powerful woman of agency. This is a woman who uh, who lost her father, uh, or her father was lost, and uh, she's taken on the mantle of uh, the responsibility for um, her village or her, you know, where she comes from and her family, and taken on the responsibility of going and finding and saving her father. Um, this is a a, a very um, I know it's, it, you know, the character's got that, uh, you know, female barbarian look and everything, but there's a lot more to the story than just a female barbarian in a, you know, a magically charged or, or I don't want to say magically charged because it's not, it's like historically charged. There's a lot of, there's a history behind the armor. Um, but that's what she does. You know, she, she sets out on an honorable quest. Uh, to save family and 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 the her people, basically, you know, from that guy right there, you know, that's an evil old king. I mean, it's, that's the bad guy of the book. Um, why it is why it has put a lot of thought into the story itself, the background of the story. Um, there's a lot of different things. If if uh, if certain stretch goals are made, there's maps that are going to be made as, as uh, bonuses. This is definitely like if you're into Dungeons and Dragons or Conan or Robert E. Howard's uh, writings and stuff, this is definitely the comic book that you'd want to get in on and get you know back while you can, while it's still in demand. Um, it's got some gorgeous look at the colors are great. The artwork is gorgeous. Um, this is, and there's also, you know, there's a couple uh, really cool perks here. There's a bookmark uh, done by Simon Potier. 
of all people. Can you imagine that? I don't know uh, if that's available on. I don't know if that's available in the on demand though. Is it? I uh, I don't know. I think he I I think he's be he's going to be using another bookmark. Oh, okay. Um. So, but you definitely check it out. You could be able to read. You know what's available. Um. But you know. This is definitely uh, one of the projects that if you miss out on, um, you know, you're really missing out on something great. Yeah, I, I know that he shared he shared the, the the new bookmark design on Twitter. It's not it's not there, and he hasn't marked that his 5K stretch goal is unlocked here because he did pass the 5K. You should. Who's probably... doing the new bookmark? I don't know. You shared an image saying it was the new bookmark. Oh, I know who is. Uh, that image is that's Peter Gilmore. If you go down, right? Is uh, it the black and white one? That, yeah. No, that's not the bookmark. That's not the bookmark. No, you shared something else. Oh, uh, that's Peter. That there is Peter Gilmore. Another fine comics, great uh, com. Yeah, comics, comics, gate great artist. Yes. Who else? What else? What other campaign can we plug right now? Uh, 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 there's actually there's one I would like to plug, and it's um, it's only on a mailing list right now, but it's 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 by Trish Kalapari, who is Dan Fan Twenty Nine. Um, if you look up, uh, Orgasm Girl. Oh, Dan Fan Girl from uh Yeah. Yeah, from YouTube. It's Dan Fan twenty nine. What's her name? Can you send me the you link? Might wanna, you might want to type in Indiegogo or oh you did already? Yeah, Orgasm Girl. And I'm not finding it, so can you send me the link? Uh, Do you know the name of her book? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um Hold on one second. Let's see if Okay, I got the link right here. And go to Simon. So while we got more. Just, just give me a sec, okay? Can you just I have a phone call? Yeah. Just give me a sec. No problem. So let's just say hi to the people in the chat here. We got El Gargoyle. True comment. Um, do, 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 do. Joe Ball. Hex. Hexbox. Black Daddy's been in here. Um, I don't know if these guys are still here or not, but uh, hey, everyone. Glad that uh, glad that you stopped by to, you know, listen to us uh, ramble and plug some books. And um, Yeah, thanks for coming, people. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. We were a little bit late. We were late on the woke show too today. <laughs> so I'm doing a fan art of your character, Aaron. But I'm Oh yeah? Which one? Uh from Cybershock. Yeah, which one though? Are you doing Ron or Siren? Siren. Oh, cool. That's, yeah, that's cool because... Might... Yeah, go ahead. Might... Oh, go on. Sorry. I was just saying that's cool because uh, Simon did Ron, so it's cool that you're doing Siren. I just decided that I made her face look like... She... I made her look too happy. She's not a not sorry. A sorry, it was that freaking phone. No problem. So yeah, you sent me the link. Yeah, but I sent you the link. It's not porn or anything. It's just a funny. Yeah. DM of uh, Twitter. There you yeah. go. Orgasm girl. Oh, that's the name of the book, Orgasm Girl. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, 
a professional boxer with a dirty little secret. Yeah, and then if you go to the bottom, it says what she can do. She's a boxer with a winning secret. She has the ability to make any man she touches orgasm with the snap of her fingers. Her whole life, she's been using it to cheat in tournaments. But when her young fan Sophie is kidnapped, it's time to step up and see if to <laughs> and use it for being a real hero. Okay. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be sort of a sexy comedy, actiony type thing. She's a big fan of uh, like anime and manga stuff. So, right. yeah. Um, but I I always loved her. I always love her videos. She's really funny, and she's always been uh, someone who. I don't I don't know if she calls herself Comics Gate, but she always supports like the same values as Comics Gate. So I felt like she deserved a little shout out. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Like that one too. Um, yeah. Not, it, it, looks like it, would, it looks like it would be a good pairing with. Uh, it looks like it would be a good pairing with Superhero. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think it would. Yeah. Like you buy both. Yeah, here, here's Doom Fate. Yep. By Passion for Drawing. So you should all sub, go subscribe to that mailing list, and don't forget to confirm it when you're done. Because otherwise you, you won't get the nice perks or discounts. You guys said you weren't going to bring his name up. That's the only reason I came in here tonight. Oh, uh, we said we, didn't, we weren't going to mention Passion? Yeah. Hmm, we said that? You went and you, I mean, that's very insensitive. I can't believe you just did that live on stream, you know? Why? No reason. Did he hurt you, Fifi's? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you he ever? He tried, though. I know, right? He he sent a he sent a really mean dig in the in the group room. I was like, damn. Wait till we get you in private hangout. You know. Yeah. You know, those private handouts are really, 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 like, dark and evil. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're the artist tribunal, and they, they, put, they put any other tribunal to shame. You're welcome to, to, you're welcome to come in and leave whenever you want, but get ready to get your, butt, your back hole taken. <laughs> well, there's, no, there, there's, there's no wussies in there. They don't last long. You start off, you start off with a, a good kick in the nutsack. So let's plug mine too, my as well. Yep, definitely, dude. And we're still in demand, and we'll be for at least a month or two. You're not too far from stretch goal. No, we're getting closer to the seven five uh, the seven thousand five hundred stretch goal, which is right now, right here, because you know people don't like to scroll too, down too much. So I put it between all the pages. <laughs> so when we reach the seven seven thousand five hundred. There's three extra pages that get added to the book. You get a Blood Hunt trading card. And the interior paper gets upgraded. And there's 10 extra sketch cards that gets added to the already unlocked 20 sketch cards. And those sketch cards will be randomly inserted into comics, into the uh, books. And you can, you know, depending on how many books you ordered, like you just say you take the double pack, you might, you, you might very well end up with two or none at all. <laughs> and what is if the you, possibility up to if you get the high if you if you get all the way up there what is it like 60 stretch cards or something or 60 sketch cards yes if we reach the 12 five uh 12 500 it's a total of 60 sketch cards that will that, that will yeah. be done and put in a nice little uh holder and put in put in a book so it won't be damaged it's awesome and That's... I'm gonna put this out there. To, I'm gonna put this out there to uh, to the audience, right? I'm gonna put this out there to the community. If we can get Blood Hunt to 30k, right, mm -hmm. there will be a Vic King Chromium. <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> you said it again. There will not. Stop promising this. 30k. Come on. Simon, you, you would. You, you would don't know how much these things cost. You need to stop right now. 
It doesn't cost thirty k. There's a reason. There's a reason that only Ethan does the chromium cover. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be doing them again. I think, right? From one other thing you said, but chromium sure. cover would be cool. But it's hard well, we to it, do, it, it, it. It's not doable we, in uh, perfect bind, we, and my book is perfect bind. We could do the paste one. You know, we, the panel gets printed like a print, and it gets pasted on. But I did think of using maybe the UV. Uh, what what is it called again? The UV something. Yeah, they, there's UV coating. There's there's like some kind of there's other kinds of foil stuff too. There's lenticular covers. Like yeah, there's lenticular covers too. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. You just got to get the money for it. And you know, if we reach the twelve twelve thousand five hundred, the book's actually going to be like seventy six plus pages. It's going to be like an eighty eighty plus. 80 page book and the yeah, end crazy and the final fight all the pages that are being added there it's all going to be added to the conclusion the big final epic fight between vincent vampires and werewolves all right 100k you get you get them to 100k <laughs> if, okay if you if, if you, you get if, if you get me to 50k i'm gonna join i'm gonna join wenger in a mayo thing in Cincinnati. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh! No, you know I'll do I'll do better. If I reach the fifty k, I'll fuck the syrup. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll soak you... myself in in maple syrup. Don't be so quick to say no, Aaron. This could be huge. <laughs> well, I want I do want you to reach that goal, so maybe it is a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm supposed to be filming myself doing a dab if we reach the 10k. Remember? Nice. I was supposed to film myself doing a dab and insert myself in that video there. Wanger's dab was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing that I wanted to do was this one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, did I find it? Where did it find you? Oh, I'm not getting it. I'm looking for the the song like I got. Uh, you got what I want, or what I need. It was a, fin a funny freaking video. Don't give yourself a copyright strike. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Can we get a copyright strike just by uh, sharing like, without the music? Watch your video and... Oh, without the music, I think you'd be fine. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's the idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to film myself and insert me in there and do this. <laughs> he already looks like you it's not that it's that you could just play the video <laughs> yeah there was i wanted to film myself and put me as one of the, the the extra ones behind him so when we do the when he does the shirt there you'd see me behind just put your face on there <laughs> so yeah the action packed blood hunt yeah look at all those blood hunt pictures you got yeah. so many pages you can you got so many pages you can share a whole comic book worth and you still only show a sample mm -hmm. right because I it's a 64 page so even if I already showed like 12 pages it's still nothing yeah. compared to you yeah, yeah. And it's uh, loaded with action from beginning to end. I love that one where he t he's turning around shooting. That's That one's one of my favorites. That one here? Yeah, that's one of my favorites. And how you, the way you did the cape, too. Or his jacket, I mean. How, how the panel melts into the... Yeah, yeah I love that. Yeah. 
really cool, cool. This is the free print that people get with the when they buy the fifty dollar and plus tier. Everybody gets that print. You know, they'll be numbered and signed. That's sweet. And only available through here. As the covers. The covers are only for the campaign. This will not be the final cover of the book for you know distribution when we get there. Yeah, Indiegogo only, right? Mm-hmm. Indiegogo exclusive, and... baby. Yep. And ho and hopefully I will get paid eventually by Indiegogo. Yeah. That's right. You, you know what you are? You know what you are? You're a rock star. You're a rock <laughs> star that isn't getting your paycheck, but you're a rock star. Yeah, one day I'll get my money. On our page, our cover is Indiegogo exclusive also. <laughs> Copycat. So, yeah. any other campaigns that we should plug that, that we might be forgetting? We uh, probably are forgetting a bunch. Hmm. Yeah, but, you know, at this point, is like we can't be blamed for forgetting pretty, some, right? Most people are doing pretty well, like Death Sworn, but he's at like 15,000. He's doing well. Yeah, check out Death Sworn, too. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. There's, uh, what's the name? Oddity. Odd Odd Oddity, yeah. Yep. By Sweems. I think Oddity's doing very well, too. Yeah. Uh, what else? We covered Doom Fate, World Warrior Drake. Star Blades is cool by Kyle Ritter. He's go go sub to demon. Go sub to demons and G string too. Oh yeah, yep. That's uh by me Star and Star Caps uh, Network and yep. Star Caps. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. Also, that's gonna show up in CG Jumpstart. Uh, I think we pretty much covered most. Oh yeah, go get your copies of uh, Cyber Fog if you haven't yet. It's still on, right? The new and the, new, the cyber fog campaign. There's the uh, art variations. I don't know if it's still. Yeah, I know you can get the the uh, the line art only version. I'm not sure if you can still get the no the yeah, one, other one. No, no the other one's closed. The line art is already it's there and it's hold on U.S. money, fucking web. So he's already at 48k. And there's yeah. still some available, so go right ahead. Me, I'm waiting for my Salomon George Chromium cover. That's a nice yep. look. I'm getting, I'm oh. getting the uh, the um, Cyber Frog Chromium cover. Oh, so you're you're one of the next ones to get them. I'm one of the campaigns waiting on the um, waiting on the ash cans. Hmm. So yeah, I guess we don't get ours until the ash cans come in. Oh, he's still waiting to get those? Yeah, he said, uh, well, at least he said on stream, it was yesterday or the day before, he said they haven't come in yet. So, I wonder why those would take longer. I don't know, man. Um, maybe he just didn't submit, though. Maybe he just submitted the main books first. Probably. Because um, Kyle was probably color, still coloring the... Uh, the, uh, Ash oh, yeah, you're probably right. Kyle was coloring the main book, and then probably when he finished the main book, then they sent it out. Oh, somebody just brought up one that I forgot. Let's don't forget to go st check Starblades by Cal. I, I think Aaron said that like three minutes ago, but yep. yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So go back to the critter. I'm getting the hero cover of uh, Starblades. Yeah, that's one of the ones that I need to get behind as soon as, you know. Yeah. Zach's uh, <laughs> God God, uh, God King is still available. Oh, yeah. Jaw Jawbreakers, your boy Zach. Love your boy Zach. That's my guy right there. I think too too often, people, you know, we get caught up and we forget to send him a plug. Yeah. But that man always deserves a plug. Mm-hmm. Now at 221k. And in demand. Yep. The book looks good. Oh yeah, the book looks awesome. I I it's it's not the one that I backed. I didn't back the first one. I'd probably need to buy both of them. 
it's okay if you didn't back the first one because these three pages here explain what happened in all of the first one. Okay, just give me a sec, guys. Can you just take over? I'll be yeah. back in a yeah, minute. Yeah, we, we could try. Um. Yeah, the first three pages of this of God King uh, are a recap of um the storyline that was in Lost Souls and the early beginnings of God King in that book. Right. So if you don't want to get the first book, you you're not going to be behind or anything. You can still just get God King and you'll have a full story. And so, it's like it's like 120 pages because there's more than one story in the book. Right. He um he was saying on one of his streams, right? He was talking about he's talking specifically about these three pages that give that mm -hmm. background, right? So this guy sent him uh, a couple pieces of fan art, right? This beautiful painted, digital painted fan art, right? Yeah. I think uh, his name's Gab I think his name's uh Gabriel Major, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um you know, uh Zach was like this is too good to just be, you know, just fan art. This has to be this has to be turned into something. So and I'm he, back. He, you know, he had him do a few more pieces and everything, and yep. uh, and between um, that that artist and uh, Bob Stone, uh, they put it, it. They they were able to take all these images and put them together into uh, compile them into the uh, story pages that you're seeing there. They give the yeah. uh, into the recap. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, that guy's. And yeah, it, it gives okay. me a feeling of like a mix of GI Joe and Youngblood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Zach's a huge GI Joe fan, so the Jawbreakers is a lot like GI Joe. It's like it's like if GI Joe characters had really superhuman powers. Mm -hmm. And the artwork by Aaron Alfici is like amazing <laughs> in this book. So you're the artist. Like this world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the other Aaron. <laughs> oh, here's another one we were forgetting, and we would hate ourselves if we did not. Oh yes, our our little our the friend Diaz here. brothers. Yes, the Diaz brothers. Oh how, yes. How can we forget about him? How could we? <laughs> right. How how dare you, Simon? Oh fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how it is. They always put the blame on me. Hashtag blame Canada, which also, yeah, magic, which also, which also ends up hashtag blames war campaign, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of, kind of go, kind of one in the same, I guess, right? Yeah. Look at that. What's he at? Seventy six backers. Is it? Good point, L. Hold on. Let me put up the other one. That another one that how can we dare freaking forget it because it's like they don't promote it as much anymore it's like we think oh, it's close vestige. so go back magic cop because it's a it's a really cool project and the story and the concept is pretty interesting yeah so, i mean it's, it's, we can understand that the maybe the art might not be your thing but give, give the story a chance the story is really fun and the art is cool it's it's made to be look to look like a like an old comic book mixed with video game type of uh, 80s type of vibe. So it kind of suits it well. I like the werewolf. Because I know that the only thing that I've heard people picking it up on my is favorite the fact character is the werewolf was on the art, and I'm like, don't stop it there, because whoever it is, the concept, and then it's a really cool project. Well, the coloring's got like that uh, whole um, like Miami uh, yeah. color. Um, it, it's it's the same type of colors that what was the Vice City was it Grand Theft Auto and, and it's got the it's got a very Patrick Nag Nagel feel to it too uh, I don't know if you're familiar with who Patrick Nagel is but he was the um, he was a, a serigraph artist that did all this amazing all these amazing prints of hot women in the eighties yeah. um, it was they, huge. Yeah, and like how Gargo saying is they got an art contest going around, a fan art contest. So get oh, on yeah. it. you get a free copy that of ends, the book. Yeah. That ends this isn't, Friday. Isn't also uh Vic is on this campaign? I don't know, is Vic on this campaign? Uh yeah, well if you happen okay, so 
if one of two things, if you find my, and I'll repost it, um, I'll have to track it down, but I'll repost it. But if you find my link, um, from, from my Twitter, right. Or I'll send out a new one. Um, and so if you get that, if you go and you back from as a referral from my link on Twitter, you'll get a, uh, a free, uh, print, um, of a, a piece that I did for them. Um, I don't know if it's on the page there or no, not. No, it's not. Um, I was looking for it, but it's that character. It's the, yeah, it's, it's that yeah, character. the mermaid. Yeah. Um, the, um, it's not a mermaid. It's a snake. Is, the other way is, oh, it's a snake catch, lady. Mm -hmm. If you catch them live on YouTube on any stream, right. And they get that referral from YouTube you'll get the print as yep. well. So those are the two ways that you can get the print. And, um, oh. so yeah, get magic cup. Yeah. Go support our, our, our friends, the Diaz brothers. The cool Simon, you did, you did a piece of fan art for them. Um, yep. I can show it. Uh, hold on. Where did I put it? Should be right here. There you go. Boom. Here's the quick little fan art sketch I did. Yeah, that's cool. And I, you know, do you, do you have yours that you can sh you can send me so you can show it too? Uh, do you have yours handy? Jeez, let me look. Hold on. He'll be back in two hours. <laughs> No, but I have to go. I have to go a little ways back in my phone to find it. Hold on. I do like his little block herds. That's freaking cool. Blockhead. Yeah, the blockheads are really cool, right? I mean, that's 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 something really fun to to yeah. have. Having. And I think that that one's cool because it's a bit different from the other ones. Because the, the, you remember the one I showed you was like a basic model that I found, which is the more squarish one. Those give attitude. I like it. <laughs> oh, it's right here. There you go. They shared it here. It's something they put in the uh, the extension. Uh, you have your. It's small though, but it's right here. Hold on, let me see if I can have a bigger pick of it. Your image is right here. That's it, right? That's the that's the free that's the free uh, original that people can get, right? Yes. Let me. Uh, I'm also trying to track it down here. Give me a moment. And this is their crossover cover that they did with the door kickers. They're kicking doors with the cor the door kickers. And while we're doing this, go support Vestige by Gat, Donald Delay. This is the War Campaign official comic, you could say. Uh, what are they at? Fifty-seven thousand. Yep. Can't wait to see. Can't wait to see what's gonna be that uh, EBS cover. Yeah. Because we passed when we passed the fifth, the fifty k, we got the uh, the EVS cover. And El Gogo just brought up another one that we should not forget. Brutal as the badass, still in demand. Now uh, for more. Brutus has a bad. <laughs> That one's also by Donald Delay. Yes. So art, art by two books in a row. So don't delay. And get your book and okay. get your boot as the badass. Yeah. Today. Today, because right now, I, from what I from what I've gathered from the updates, the pages are all drawn. Now he's waiting for the coloring while he's finishing Vestige. So go get your boot as the badass. It's because it's internet gay. <laughs> I Me, mean, I got that um, cover. Okay, so 
I did. Uh, I did uh, uh, DM you that, Simon. Okay, going to my DMs. And here's the piece of art that Nick did for the the magic cop. And you could get you could get it through that. Uh, is it a secret tier that you get or? Huh? Is it a secret tier that they have or? Uh, no, it's no, a... it's it's done by the referrals. So if you see them on uh, any live stream, right? So either on their own channel or uh, when they're out promoting on other channels, um, if you catch them on one of the live streams. Just that YouTube uh, referral um, will get you a, a print, and also, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet this out. Um, I'm gonna tweet this out also. Uh, if you go to my Twitter, uh, Vic King Art, and um, and you back from uh, from that link, if you back the book from that link. You will get a print also. So this Vic, Vic King art right here. Yeah. Yay! I'm back. I'm free. Yay. I'm unsuspended. <laughs> yeah, out of jail. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, right? And this is a good. This is a good little piece of advice for uh, all the uh, people that are um, retweeting back or you know retweeting projects or or even creators that are are tweeting their stuff out. Um, be careful to use hashtags that are, um, relative to what you're posting, because if you, if you use hashtags that have nothing to do with what you're posting, Twitter will suspend your account and, and my account was suspended for three days for it. So, um, yeah, uh. And it, it takes a while for them to, to do it, too. Uh, so I got suspended from uh, the promoting of Extractors, um, which has been a while now since, since it ended. And um, so um, it catches up with you. <laughs> uh, so just best, best not to do it. Best to stick to... Uh, Things that are relatively, uh, relatively uh, germane to what you're posting. This is the page look that got me back in vestige. Look at that page. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Go up one to that city scene. That one. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, look how great that looks with the colors. Wow. Is Donald yeah. doing the colors on this, or nope. is um... nope, he's not. Who's who's doing the colors? I can't say the name. Oh, okay, okay. It's uh, it's somebody that they 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 can't really say the name right now, but he's a okay. pro. He's a pro. Awesome. Like I me, mean, that's the page that made me like I I backed that the first day for day one. I saw that page. I'm like Excalibur. I'm in. Fuck you. Oh, the lady in the lake. Yeah, 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 the lady in the lake is caliber. You, you, you know me. It's like <clears throat> U.S. Thor meets King Arthur. <laughs> the Knights of the Round Table. It's something that I've, I've loved since I've been a kid. I've read everything about them. Oh, and it looks great. And it's him changing style. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean it's 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 uh, that's another thing too. You get to see a wonderful, uh, um, you get to see the wonderful uh, breadth of his talent. You know, like you know, the man is the man is able to draw in in multiple different styles and equally uh, equally is successful and great. Mm hmm. So yeah, I think we pretty much covered all the the campaigns. <laughs> Trying to figure out if there's something else we might be forgetting, but I think we pretty much flew over all of them. So let's go back to the purpose of this before we we close this. Go back, Shiver Shock. 
by Aaron Kelly and Mary. Yep. What are we at? Twenty percent still. Yep. Still at twenty percent. Yep. Got to get with that Spaniard. <laughs> get that extra. Get that extra money. Get that extra push. Mm-hmm. That 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 yeah, you know this is, mysterious. This Spaniard. Is a, if you like good uh, action books, this is a really good action story, and you get really good artwork with it. So, <laughs> and. And it's a pretty good deal. It's fifteen dollars, uh, or you can get the digital for seven, or the two pack for twenty five. So yeah, we're pretty much on ninety minutes right now, and it's nine o'clock. So perfect. Let's, let's sign out, and let's pass to the you know behind the scene after. <laughs> yep. So, want to sign out, Aaron first? Yep, I'm Aaron Calamari. I'm the writer of Cybershock, and uh, you can find me at Aaron Calum or er, er, uh, uh, at Aaron Calamari on Twitter, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, go back that book, and we and Vic. Uh, my name is uh, Vic King. Um, I am currently embroiled in a lot of fantastic work that's going to be popping up on Twitter soon. Um, and, uh, I, you know, um, I'm just here to, uh, you know, hopefully entertain you with, uh, you know, with the humble talents that, uh, that God has provided me with. And um, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Vic King Art. And you have a, do you have a YouTube channel? I do. It's also Vic King Art on YouTube. Um, I am planning on putting up some content. Um, I just have to uh, figure out how. I want to put up some drawing videos. Um, but I have to set up. I finally got something to hold my camera. Mm -hmm. But I got to find a way to set it up so that I can have it basically so that I can draw at a comfortable angle and be able to film it at the same time. So, um, but I'll be working on that cause I can't draw flat. Like some people draw flat. Um, I can't, and I don't have one of those tilty art desks. So, uh, I draw off an art board, um, but I'll get it figured out and, and there will be content going up. Uh, so yes, absolutely. Please do go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate that as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm Sim. Sub, like, share the, the link to this video. Follow me on Twitter, and don't forget, go support the most badass assassin vampire in comics. You will not be disappointed, but you will if you don't back it. <laughs> Have a good night.